Hello, sorry if this video is a little crazy and unedited, but I've been wanting to start my channel for quite some time and the main thing I want to do right now is cloth diapering videos. And there's a reason why I want to do this video regardless of if I'm prepared or not because I have a package from Twinkie Tush that I wanted to unbox because it's actually a mystery print box so I don't even know what's in it. Um, but I wanted to talk about Twinkie Tush. I wanted to open up my box here and show a few other items that I have from that company because it is a really good company and I'm going to tell you why. So my name is Shonda. First and foremost, my, I am a 34-year-old mother. I have a son. He's currently eight and I am pregnant with my second baby and she's a girl and I'm due July 26, 2022. So if you're watching this, it's most likely that you're going to watch this after I have her because I'm going to probably upload it soon and then she's going to be here before I know it. Anyway, so about the company Twinkie Tush, um, Twinkie Tush is a, it's a small company that's based in Ithaca, New York, and it's owned by a woman named Gretchen Gilpin. And she started out as a work at home mom, and then she grew her company. Um, the reason why I really like her products is because they're very, very good quality. She, she makes mostly cloth diapers, but she makes other products too, which I'll show you. Um, and she's very big on anti-racism and inclusion and implements that in her employment and actually uh, her own activism, you know, in social media and other places. She's a very cool person. I definitely think you guys should check her out. The website um, for her company, it's Twinkie Tush at Shopify, I think. And you can just check out her different products. But she makes um, fitted cloth diapers, which are amazing quality. They are all handmade. She makes um, blankets, she makes clothes. The clothes brand is called Togs. Twinkie Tush is the diapers. Um, and she also, I think, is gonna start implementing, um, like, I think, like, little stuffed animals for kids, too. And they, um, I think they're gonna be, like, bamboo velour and other really nice materials, too. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few of the products that I actually have. I have a lot of products by her, but I just wanna give you an example. So. Um, the diapers come in three different sizes. They come in teeny tush, uh, Twinkie Tush teeny. So this one's a twink Twinkie Tush teeny fusion, which is for about a newborn size. I think it's, I can't really, I might list the, like the, um, weight measurements down below, but this is a teeny tush and this is for like the smaller babies. And on the inside it is, it has two or at least one soaker. And um, I believe this is, she has uh, the end, the inside can be bamboo velour or cotton velour. And um, the outside, it just depends on the type of diaper you get. Some of them have wind pro. Um, some of them are like a swim knit. Uh, this one is like a cotton, a cotton knit. Um, then there's also minky and a squish. And I think, I think I got them all covered but don't quote me on that. Um, and they are, it's a fitted diaper. So basically it's not completely waterproof, but a lot of people don't use them with a cover or anything because they just, they like the print and they're also very absorbent. So this is a teeny. And then I have a little, which this one's a little tush. So you can see in comparison to the size, this is a newborn. This is the, the next step up. This little is, I think this is a squish. It's very, very soft on the outside. And then it snaps differently than the newborn one does too. It opens up, this one has uh, two soakers and I think this one is probably bamboo velour too. And it has this, the bigger ones have this fusion. It's like a fusion where it has like this uh, fleece and it like repels the moisture. So when the baby pees on top of it, the pee goes on top of it, it goes through this soaker, goes to the second one. And then when it gets to this one, when it gets to this layer, it pushes it back up into the other soaker. So it actually adds like a little bit more protection in a normal um, fitted diaper. And this one also has snaps that go this way so that when you snap it, if it's too big for your baby, you can, either you can eliminate you don't have to have all these all these in there but um 
you can fold it down and then fold it up and it's like the rise changes like that because some some diapers have the rise in the front where it snaps this one the rise works like this and then you would you can even overlap it because there's overlapping snaps which yeah so it gets smaller than that so then you have the biggest size which is considered the one size diaper and you can see for comparison these they look like they're very similar and for some reason i don't know why they are like this but some of them some of the one sizes are bigger than some of them but this one you can see is bigger than the, the little and um it opens the exact same way as the little tush but this one old has like a tie dye uh inside which i think is so beautiful and it's the same exact thing and it also you can fold it down and you have the snaps where if you need to make it smaller you can make it a little bit smaller too so one more feature of these diapers is that there's something there's this one has a surging to it going around the outside if you can see that this one is called surged and this one is turned so basically the diaper on the turned one is is sewn like inside out and then they um they flip it around and that's how it gets this turned um this turn style and some kids are like allergic to the surging like the for some reason the stitching they're allergic to it so you want to get a turn diaper if your baby has sensitive skin so those are the three types of diapers they have then i have a blanket i have a small blanket but it's a blanket it's organic bamboo velour and this one is a small one it's very pretty though very soft and they have um like small medium large extra large they have i think extra extra large blankets and they are very very soft and nice and then they have togs so i only have one thing from togs and it's a dress and i have a diaper that matches it however the diaper is not the same size this is a teeny so the baby when i have the baby she will not be able to fit wear this together because i think this is a 12 month and this is like a newborn diaper so they're the same pattern and that's the thing you can get like um you can get diapers and dresses or you can get they have underwear they're called graduates and the the like the fabric or patterns you can find to match each other so that you can wear like a matching shirt with the underwear or like a matching dress and a diaper um so those are the products that I have just to show you like a, the different array of products that they have. But I want to open up my mystery pack. So I got um, five diapers in the mystery pack. And then I had one diaper that I bought that I do know what it looks like. It's actually a Schitt's Creek pattern. Schitt's Creek is a show. It's really hilarious if you've never watched it. Um, so let's see. So. Um, I did this at, as a Memorial Day. There was a Mo Memorial Day sale, so I got a free gift with it, which it looks like I got some really nice um, cloth wipes, and they are, I love anything tie-dye. These look like they're kind of like more like an ice dye type pattern. Oh, these are so pretty. These are beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. And they have this turquoise color on the back and it has like a yellow surging around it i got three of those these were just like a free gift Ooh, i got some really pretty stuff in here okay so this is my Shits creek diaper these are all little fusions i got this diaper which is minky it's a minky little fusion with Shits creek on it this, the characters are like cartoon style Oh, this is very cool. So you can see um, Dan Levy and, um, wait, where's he at? And there's a few of him and his dad. I forgot what his dad's name is. And I forgot what her name is too, but she's hilarious. But these are, it's very, very soft. And it has like these like green accents on the buttons. And it's, it's turned also. This is a turned diaper. All the diapers I get, I think are turned. Nope. No, there's those ones are surged. And you this these one this has not been washed, so you can see. I don't know if you can see like how um soft. It's very, very soft. Very, very, very soft. 
This one might be cotton velour though on the inside. This one, this is just what it looks like when it's unwashed. But when you wash it, sometimes they just get like a little wrinkly on the inside. Then I got, oh, this is, this is pretty too. This looks like it's minky. Also, when you order a mystery pack, you can um, request, um, you can request different patterns that you want. Like you can ask for like girly patterns, boy, like boyish patterns, neutral. You can ask for stripes because they do have a lot of stripes, um, pretty different stripe patterns, like they will be like stripe patterns with like really pretty like uh silver like stripes and gold stripes going through it oh this one's pretty and it has like the purple on the inside this is so nice and it's i like this soft like minky is so soft i noticed that like some of the cotton like if you have a cotton pattern they will like if you buy them used like they'll kind of fade a little bit but stuff like minky like um Minky can get not as soft if you buy it used and somebody washes it a lot or depending on how they launder it. Um, it can mess up the texture of it for the most part. This one is gorgeous. I love mystery packs because sometimes you, sometimes you get stuff you don't love, but I got a really good thing today. This is like a snake skin pattern. This is like, wow, this is kind of wild. So it has purple, it has purple and blue snaps. And this is another way how you can tell like how to match up the um, the soakers if they come off in the wash because I'll show you in a second. Oh, this is black. This is kind of like toothless from uh, How to Train Your Dragon, I think it's called. Oh, this is beautiful. And it has the rainbow surging. Oh, this is beautiful. So yeah, so when you match it up in the wash, One of them will have, it'll have the blue and the purple, and you'll know that that's how it matches up because it just goes right along the pattern for this. So you're like, okay, this this goes with this, because you may have more than one black. Oh, some, a lot of them are white. Same thing with this, blue and purple. So that's how you match it up. This one is gorgeous. <clears throat> then I have, and this one I asked for, I asked for minky and I asked for squish, and I also asked for girly or neutral. I think I, I have one similar to this. I don't know where it's at. But this, oh, I love this. I absolutely, like I said, I love anything tie-dye. And this is tie-dye and it's like minky. Oh, so beautiful. This one, like I said, so I have a lot of white rainbow surge ones. So if this isn't a wash with something else, I would be able to find it because it has this pink and purple um, snap on it. So it's easy to match it up. And you don't even have to take these off. They can, you can leave them on, but sometimes they just come, they come undone. This one's beautiful. Then I have this pretty one. This one is like, um, I think this one might be a swim. Is this swim? No, this one might just be a cotton outside. And it has these pretty little brown rainbows on them. Okay, if I can get it open. If I can get it open. Oh my gosh, it's like little, it's like kind of like watercolor. Like little watercolor rainbows and like little raindrops and clouds. And it, oh my gosh, this inside is gorgeous. It has like an olive. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. This is so, so pretty. This is super duper pretty. I love this. And this one has brown and green accents on the snaps. And I have one more. And this one is really, really pretty too. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this one. I got, this is like the part, this is the perfect one. So like I said, if you can, you can request certain things that you want or don't want. Um, I had received a duplicate before. Oh, this one is minky too. Oh, this one, yeah, this one's a squish actually. I think this is squish. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. It has little clouds, like little sleepy clouds. And it has like a, like, I guess periwinkle snaps in pink and the pink inside. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. This is amazing. I love it. I actually, I super love all the diapers I got today. Um, so the diapers can run a little expensive. Um, I think the mystery pack for littles is $200 and you get five of them. So that's about, I think $40 a diaper. I got a 35 
20% off coupon for Memorial Day. And I got free shipping because it was over $150. And I also had this extra diaper. So I got six diapers. And as a free gift, I got these beautiful organic bamboo velour wipes. And I mean, honestly, they're worth it at the end of the day. They tend to hold their value. A lot of people sell them. So that leads me to talk about the buy, sell, trade group. She has a buy, sell, trade group on Facebook that Gretchen is a part of. She's a part of the group. She's very active with the group. Um, she posts a lot on social media in general. So she posts on Instagram. I'm a part, well, I'm on, I follow their Instagram and their um, Facebook because those are the two social medias that I use. And um, so they have the Facebook buy, sell, trade group where you can buy used diapers, you can sell used diapers, or you can trade diapers. And then there's the Facebook customs group, which you can buy um, custom, like, I'm not sure how it works because I've never actually utilized the customs. But from what I understand, you can buy the fabric and you can have them make different things with it. And I think you get whatever fabric back that isn't used. Um, and I'm not really sure about the pricing for that either. But I personally just really, I think that they're, the quality of the products is just like, it's amazing. It's super, like super amazing. This is, this is a hand stitch diaper. The elastics, I have used diapers and I, none of it, that's something that you have to be kind of like uh, careful with when you get used diapers is sometimes the elastics are worn out, but it's very rare for, for Twinkie Tish elastics to be worn out. They are very, very good elastics. The snaps, I've never seen the snaps um, not be on the diapers. Um, they do start to get edge wear after a while because it's a natural, they're all natural fibers, which any natural, any natural fiber diaper, oh my gosh, sorry. Any natural fiber diaper or any type of fabric, if you even have flats, they will start to get edge wear after a while because it's natural. And that's good. You, I mean, you want it to biodegrade, especially if you're um, cloth diapering for envir environmental reasons. Um, but this is a definitely, I, I definitely highly recommend these diapers. If you don't like fitted diapers, I can completely understand you not wanting to use these. Um, unfortunately, she does not have like pockets. She doesn't have flats. She doesn't have anything other than the fitted fusions and I think that's fine she definitely has her she's found her niche in these these are definitely great um I'm trying to think so I definitely I want to start doing more more uh, reviews and things like that on diapers but I didn't feel comfortable because I don't have a baby yet to actually review them on but one thing I would definitely say is when it comes to diapers the fit of the diaper and the way the diaper works definitely depends on the baby you have if you have a baby who has chunky legs and a diaper tends to run a little small, you may not like the diaper. But if you have a smaller baby and the diapers are cut a little bit smaller, it would be something you would like because it accommodates your baby being skinnier. Also the same thing with absorbency. If you have a heavy wetter and the diaper does not absorb well or well, you know, according to what you need, you may think that it's not a good diaper, but it may work great for somebody else. So regardless of if I have, um, you know, if I'm able to do reviews or not, I wanted to talk about Twinkie Tush because I really, really love their products. I love what Gretchen stands for as a person and I love what she implements into her company. And um, it was just very important for me to, you know, to at least do my first video to push myself out to do more videos. Um, so like I said, I, I plan on doing more videos in the future. I have a lot of diapers. A lot of them are Twinkie Tush at this point because I've invested a lot into um, Twinkie Tush. But I have other types of diapers that I want to talk about and review because Twinkie Tush was one that I can really almost find no, I can almost find no material on it. Um, I found a handful of videos where people um, have unboxed them like I have and maybe shown the diapers. But I found very little information on people actually reviewing them and talking about how, excuse me, how they work. Oh, I completely forgot, completely, completely forgot that there's another version of her diapers that she has. And they're Twinkie Tush Night Nights. They're an overnight diaper, which I do not own any of those, but they have a different um, insert that's added to it. I'm so, I'm like so upset that I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. Um, so she has overnight fitteds and she has like regular daytime fitteds and people absolutely rave about the night nights. And I'll, I'll for sure get one before I have the baby so that I can try it out. But she's definitely not big enough to even use, I mean, even the smallest diaper yet, so... Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. This is getting to a 20 minute video, um, but check out Gretchen. Check out the Facebook, uh, the Facebook customs group. Check out the Facebook buy, sell, trade group for Twinkie Tush. Um, her, also, her another fun fact is that her Twinkie Tush is actually named after she had twins. And I think they called them the Twinkies. And that's why she called it Twinkie Tush. So 
um, just look into her company and look into, you know, what she stands for and, you know, look into her products and support her as much as you can. Try her diapers out. They may be an awesome addition to your stash. And um, let me know in the comments what you think about her brand if you use them. And let me know if you want to see any specific videos. So thanks for tuning in. Sorry for the quality. I am not in the in the best state to be doing anything extravagant right now, but I just didn't want to stop myself from actually putting out videos if I want to and content that I don't see that I feel like there's a need for. So I hope you guys have a great blessed day. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.